Just two days before the second presidential debate, four new polls showing Governor Mitt Romney is now in the lead. The latest Reuters Ipso poll shows Mr. Romney leading the president by three points. The UPIC voter poll also shows the governor ahead by three points, while the latest Gallup poll shows a two-point spread, Romney in the lead, and the Investor's Business Daily tip poll shows Governor uh, Romney leading by one point. Let's bring in our campaign insiders, John LeBoutlier, former Republican congressman for New York, Pat Cadell, Fox News contributor, former pollster for President Jimmy Carter, Doug Schoen, he too, a Fox News contributor and former pollster for Bill Clinton. Doug, um, yep. is Romney now the front runner? Um, I think it's moving in that way. It's clear he's got the momentum, Greg, but bottom line, we need Tuesday night and a good debate performance for that to confirm it. Right now, this race is too close to call the momentum with Governor Romney. Pat, um, the Reuters Ipso poll came out. Yeah. All right. Obama leading Romney 59 to 31 among early voters. What do you make of that? Well, first of all, let's understand it's an online poll. All right. Which I go. So the methodology uh, is. I know. I just, I just kind of go, whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's, you know, it's a small number of people, but it's being hyped today by a lot of news organizations who you might notice have stopped doing their state polls now that Obama's not doing so well in the Mainstream state. Mainstream media. They're hyping this. Uh, clearly the Obama campaign is better organized. We don't know what it means in states like Florida, North Carolina, right. when we at know the, where we know the numbers on absentee ballots. Mm -hmm. We know Republicans have more than Democrats. All right, I'm glad so, you brought up Florida. Mm -hmm. Let's put it up there. The Real Clear Politics uh, poll average. And there it is. Governor Mitt Romney is ahead by roughly three points, a little bit more than that. And boy, the trend line was completely in the opposite direction not long ago, John. Well, what's happened, obviously, the first presidential debate is what caused a bigger explosion than that guy breaking the sound barrier today. That is really, <laughs> that has really That's sort good. of That's turned good. the campaign That's upside good. down. And I think the three of us sort of all believe that everything's waiting for Tuesday yeah. night. And it is conceivable well, Tuesday night that Romney, if he were to have another decisive victory, he's yeah. going to be the next president well, of the United States. I, I, but if Obama does well on Tuesday right. night, this thing is still a jump ball. Well, I think that I think that that's it's close, but Romney is now in the driver's seat. He needed that debate. This look, this is next to 1980, in my opinion, the most yeah. decisive debate yeah. because it helped Romney with people who about wrote him off. Now we have he, he meets the president on now even terms. The president may do well, but cumulatively, Joe Biden didn't put the skids on the momentum <laughs> no, train of I, Mitt Romney. I, I, I don't think he did. I think the ultimate takeaway is why was Biden so animated? A little weird with some of his facial Some moves. people said manic. But, m maybe. But by, bottom line, I think by comparison, the president looked weaker, more unfocused, yeah. and frankly, less in command. It seemed to unnerve a lot of people, but uh, some people enjoyed it. Uh, look, I want to put up, loved it. I, I, I was talking it. about Florida a moment ago, right. and actually the Miami Herald, Tampa Bay Times poll came out, hmm. and Romney has in Florida a seven point yeah. lead, but go to Ohio, let's put that up on the screen, because this is interesting. Uh, the president had a substantial lead uh, there, and now look yeah. at it uh, within if, the margin of error. I can speak dead directly heat. to this, Greg. Go ahead. Bottom line, Florida, North Carolina, lesser extent Virginia, are all going decisively for Governor Romney. Right. And truth be told, Governor Romney can win those states and the president will be reelected if he holds Ohio. Ohio now is the key right. if the race freezes. Yeah. Right now the president's narrowly ahead. Put up on the screen ahead. the Real Clear Politics electoral map because this is really what counts, folks. You're not a national poll. You've got to win the state. You've got to win the electoral votes. Now talk to us about this, Pat. Yeah, well, what's happening, I want you to look at the yellow, ladies and gentlemen. What is happening, we've been having national movement. We see now that Wisconsin, Michigan, which everyone thought was in, was solid for Obama, is now undecided. So is Pennsylvania. Maine is moved Wisconsin. to lean. Wisconsin has been a, a battleground state. But here's my theory. We're seeing faster movement in states that have had no advertising and have been left aside. And that means that I think the problem with Ohio for Romney may be yeah. this $49 million that's been spent by Obama. He's in, in the, how early the Obama ground organization, it may be, and this is just a theory that I have, it may be that it's the, certainly the velocity in the Michigans, the Pennsylvanias yeah. are faster, and even in Minnesota, 
than it is in Ohio. And that well, may mean he could make a different combination, particularly with Wisconsin. On that electoral map, just to point out, Obama now drops all the way down to 201. You've got to have 207. From 257. From 257. Right, from 257. Two and, and Romney moves up to 191. Look, I, I want to ask you, Congressman, because you're a real political pro, this what is now being referred to, even by the Washington Post, as Benghazi Gate. Mm -hmm. And uh, the White House and the president's response to it, uh, which has been heavily criticized. Here's what DeRoy Murdoch, a columnist in the New York Post, put it. The same government that apparently leaks secrets to make the president look tough evidently oozes falsehoods to keep him from looking weak. In short, people died. Obama lied. Well, it is a huge and growing problem. You saw it in the vice presidential debate the other night. It was the first question between uh, Biden and Ryan. It's going to come up quickly Tuesday night. There's no question. And the president, having watched uh, Biden flounder around on this thing, better come up with a better answer or he'll start this debate losing again. Because Greg, this Biden is could have knocked this out of the right. ballpark. Right. He had the moment, but he yeah, was... Didn't do it. And the Democrats are trying to run out the clock. 25 days. It's not truth. It's not falsehood. It's get through 25 days. Quick question. It, it, clearly, the president on Tuesday night is going to be far more aggressive than he yes. was in his first debate. How does Romney handle that? Well, I think in several ways. First of all, I think there's a theme that Romney needs to, to have. And I've said this before. Look, you've spent all this advertising. You have people calling me a liar. But you know what, Mr. President? You were elected to for hope and change. You were elected to change the tone. You promised right. people, and now you attack right. everyone, attack me, you attack me. I want to know, right. am I this to your face? What does each candidate need to do in Tuesday night's presidential debate, and is there any leftover from the VP mm -hmm. debate? It, there was a lot of uh, laughing and sneering and, and mocking um, and smiling. And 82 interruptions by uh, Vice President Biden during the last debate. How does this come across? I think it comes across as, frankly, a little strange. But there was a method, I dare say, to the madness, Greg, which is that Biden was trying to rally the Democratic faithful, show them that the Democratic Party and the Obama administration could fight back. I thought on substance, a lot of times he made good points, but the 82 interruptions that you allude to, plus the facial mannerism and the mm -hmm. ticks, to me, made the performance far less effective than it could have been. Pat? Well, I think he, he won on uh, points well, partly because Ryan was being safe, and but he lost on style. And Ryan could have, I just can't get over Ryan not knowing the moment and turning at one point and saying, what are you laughing about? You know, or, right. or, you know you're know, you being disrespectful to the voters. They deserve better than this, Mr. Right. Vice President. Well, he did turn to him and say, look, you're not helping anybody by interrupting so many times. No, but I would have said you would right. have gone right at him. Um, who has the right. advantage, Congressman, in the town hall style debate coming up on <sighs> Tuesday? Well, you know, it's a, I think they, they both have different strategies and they're going to go about it differently. And the president has a tough road to hoe here. He has to not go as far as Biden, but he's got to rally his, his supporters and some of the ones that left him in the last 10 days mm -hmm. and get them back by being more aggressive but respectful. Right. And he's got to answer the questions that are asked by town hall participants. You know what? There, there's no question that he can read a teleprompter really well, but he's not going to have a teleprompter he's there. Not, not and, and if you just judge him anytime he speaks without a teleprompter, especially halting. news conferences in which he has to answer questions, it's not hum, pretty. Ha, well, plus, uh, he's got a huge issue, Greg, one that they don't have an answer for. We saw David Axelrod today on Fox News right. Sunday, Biden in the vice presidential debate, which is Libya. They don't have an answer to Benghazi. I don't think they can get through 25 days by saying that the intelligence community let them down. The State Department had the request for additional security. Well, they say we didn't know. We, we didn't, didn't know. know. No, no, I don't I, think that works. What, I know what the answer to that is. After they went out for a week and right. said it was And if that's what the president says we didn't know, all Romney has said, well, Mr. President, let me ask you this. Why weren't you in the Oval Office doing your job and getting the bottom of it rather than going off yeah. to fundraisers in Las Vegas? While the, while the consulate was still burning. What's amazing is he had no in-person national security right. meeting in the aftermath and of did, the murder. Right. And you didn't meet with him. And, and, and apparently he skips half of his 62%. Oh, 62%, I was going to say. Of yeah. his daily, right until he got exposed. Daily briefings. Now he has them every day. Right. Yeah. All I mean, right. really, you know. Uh, wow. Does the pro-Obama media that sort of surrounds him feed into this, Congressman? Well, oh, I anyway? think they're, they're sitting there 
If he gets to even the minimal bar of acceptability in this debate, they're going to proclaim him the comeback kid. He's done great. The first debate was an accident. He did great. And the comeback kid is here, and they're going to try to make this race come back. Yeah. What Pat talked about before about the early voting, they want to create a false upward momentum for Obama. Would it be a mistake for the president to uh, bring up Big Bird? Uh, he, because he does on the, on the campaign stump speech, he says Mitt Romney wants to kill Big Bird you and know, Elmo I, too. I think you'll hear it. The president is going to confront Romney, joke about Romney, do everything he can to achieve what John said, which is the notion that the race is stable. Because there's one yeah. bottom line concern, Greg. If he appears weak and unfocused again, Gone. the entire race could go. The president's going to rip into Romney's 47% remark, which is regrettable, according to Romney. What, I mean, I, Pat, I, I, what does he say? Well, I think he's got to say it's regrettable, and I'm, I'm for everyone. And then he's got to move on. What he needs, I would really turn right away and say, Mr. President, you know, you're being the divisive one. You're tearing the country apart. You're attacking people. You're, you were going to unite us. I would get back to that. What I did in Massachusetts, I would do that. And, and I would challenge the president. You want to say to my huh? face what you've been saying on t in your spots? He, 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 Romney threw Romney back needs in the face. To win this Romney debate. threw back in the face of the president that five trillion dollar claim. You're going to cost the, the deficit five trillion with your tax plan. For, is the president going to try that again? Yes, he yes, is. He is. They're, they're going to right stick now. with it. Yeah. They've yeah. got to make they, the narrative. There's no basis for that. Greg, 25 days. They've got to make right. the case that he's a liar. You know what the answer That's that the only is? way they act. You want to talk to me about math, Mr. President? <laughs> yeah. Look at what you said about you cutting the deficit in uh -huh. half, the stimulus at 5%. Got to go. You know. Doug Schoen, Pat Goodell, John LeBoutlier, our campaign Thank insiders, you. every Monday at 10.30 a.m., live.foxnews.com. They'll be back here next Sunday. You can also follow them on Twitter at... FN Insiders. Mm -hmm. Always good stuff you guys have.